how does the relationship between the set designer and the director work? It's funny, some directors will give you one word, like dusty. I want it to be primitive and dusty, and that will get my mind working. Another director will go into it in exact detail, and it'll dry it up for me, and then you'll get, it's, it's funny, it's vibes you get off each other. I've worked with Brian McDonald for a long time, and he, he followed my rhythm. I, we exchanged ideas, often on car journeys, and one idea would lead to another idea, and it was very much a collaboration. And then you get somebody like Michael Langham. What was interesting there, and this goes back to text work, I enjoy people who really look at the text. So you have that foundation underneath. Did Twelfth Night three times, each time with a really good director. The first time was in 75 with David Jones, and it was first Brian Bedford, Mount Folio, and David Jones was at the RSC. The second time was with John Hirsch, at YPT. Very interesting production. The third time was with Michael Langham at the Atlantic Theatre Festival. I found out more about the play with him than I had done with the other two, both extremely good directors. But he made things happen in my mind vis-a-vis -vis relationships, the feel of the play, Antonio, a character that's often ignored, but it's actually very important to that play. So it's useful for you to hear from a director some of the intricacies and the layers upon layers yes. within a play? Oh, I didn't know that. Absolutely, for me as a designer, very important. And I don't want to be left, the, there is a tendency sometimes with directors, and it can't always be helped, especially if they're doing a big production. They'll, they'll spend a long time with you and the details and why and how and everything. They'll get in with the actors and you start getting notes from stage management about changes and you've no longer got that rapport with the director, even though changes are happening and things are evolving. So you're saying you want to keep that relationship with yes. the director all the way through? Yes. So do you sit in on many rehearsals? As many as I possibly can. Because again, it goes back to the way I, I'd done so many shows before I came here to work in 74, to Stratford Festival. But in coming here, especially with Robin Phillips, that questioning why, why became an extremely important question with him. That's lovely, dear, but why are you doing it that way? And I believe with design now, it's instinct first. I do feel you build up a sort of library within yourself of ideas and visuals and things. That's where the instinct comes in that many, many layers of who you are as a person, what makes you an individual designer. And then, the, the, then it's the why. You have to get it down on paper and then you have to go back and hone what you've done. Is this really helping? Is this helping? When you go to build, does, ask yourself why you've chosen that fabric rather than that fabric. Does it say enough about the character? Does it say enough about the style of the piece, the concept of so the piece. So you're saying your ration has to come in and be satisfied that your instinct has taken you to the, a yes. good place. the questioning. Because again, it goes back, I always feel with actors, if you don't know why you're doing something, how can you expect your audience to know? Right. If you don't know that tale. Let's talk.